Hi, wonderful people. I hope you're well. Life of Tarochi back with another Tarot reading. This is a collective timeless reading, so whenever you find this message is when you're meant to hear it. Two people or two situations, or maybe one person going from one situation to the next. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, how do we identify or locate the first situation here? Royalty. Direct descendant. Illegitimate. Distant relation. Depossessed or loss of title. Wealth and banishment. Mm, interesting. How do we identify the second person or situation? Ooh. We have air disaster with imprisonment. One more so I can identify this energy, please, spirit. Wild West. Okay. The past couple of readings, these two cards have come out together. So I will honor the cards and we'll see what this is about. We have Defender on the bottom. They're directing me straight towards the right away to Rose. So let's see. Royalty. Someone of the crown or has knowledge of royalty. This is also giving me DNA, connection to money, connection to knowledge, connection or related to royalty. We have royalty with wealth. This wealthy person looking over to royalty. This gives me someone who doesn't know that they are royal and didn't know that they had wealth. Their name holds wealth, their blood holds wealth. A direct descendant of someone royal or someone wealthy. We have banishment here. At some point of the family line, either you or heading back were banished from this money or from this royalty. We have disowned, exiled, shunned, forced underground. The identifying energies connected to these are a matriarch, a feminine who's mature, wise. We also have an owner, a proprietor, someone who's legally entitled or rightful to, a homeowner, owner of wealth, and we have a senior, above 65 years of age well lived in the second circle we've got air disaster so this gives me air energy aquarius libra gemini in that order if you don't have that star sign or those energies placed in your birth chart or natal chart or dealing with one this is speaking about sudden forms of wealth from community or groups of people fulfilling this current lifetime wish through partnerships and relationships, a marriage, some capacity for connection. This is something you felt like you knew, you thought about, a sibling's coupling to tell you, or this is having some type of discovery in a close neighborhood, discovering something in old written material, marketing or writing or a news article, or hearing this clearly through the mind, through Claire audience. The second energy, we clarified that air disaster, so it was a shock, a shock of information. We also got star seeds here with asteroids. I always get star seeds from that energy. Tornado, for me, spiritually, is speaking about lost in translation. That energy is on the bottom, so we have igniting energy dropping bombs is something that's really shocking that's coming to surface imprisonment kept away or dispatched from this energy shunned out to a location that was far far away from this connection i could also be talking about they just gave me adoption as well this includes adoptions removed from families 
stolen generations. They're also giving me, with the Wild West here, you or this energy means that you're quite different. You're a minority, not of the majority, not of the masses, which makes this energy quite unique. Imprisonment means that there's been some type of restrictions held against this energy to this wealth or to this money. It could also be assets, could be knowledge, could be actual money, it could be inheritance, it could be a status, it could be a position. Let's see what this is all about. Royalty, please confirm direct ascendant. We've got judgment. So those who had, who are still in this line are being judged. Confirm royalty, please, spirit. We've got the page of cups showing up there in the first house. So those who are known to be royal are seen as royal. But also this particular energy is still acquiring wisdom, maybe still studying, still learning. This external energy is the ace of cups. You're being gifted something that was taken from you. Wow. Sorry about the noise there. You've been gifted something that was taken from you. Purposely displaced. Maybe you had some type of potential to, they seen some type of risk to you. So whether this is you or someone up your bloodline, but a matriarch or a senior was removed from this royal bloodline. I just heard blue blood as well with this card here. So this Pisces energy falling out in the 12th and the first house, so Pisces or Aries. But this is talking about spiritually knowing that you are meant to navigate the world through royalty. This royalty may not be in the way that we know it now because there are many other forms of royalty that exist out there in other ways. So royalty can, can come into play in many ways. Ace of Cups, so this is speaking a lot to the emotions here. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. So this is someone soon discovering their connections to their bloodline or soon discovering that they are entitled to a mass sum of money or wealth or royalty that they're able to hold. Okay, This is also giving me a lot of emotional energies as well. This is a gift, an inherited gift being bestowed to its rightful owner. What's inheritance here, spirit? King of Swords. So some type of legislation, legal documents, wealth. What this energy is being blindsided by, there's a connection here. So this feminine's face is being covered by this tip and covering this the masculine's head so what this could be is like uh, removed from father's line a matriarch being removed from a father's line because we've got the ninth and tenth house here so there was some type of spiritual insight or knowledge that you or your family above you that was removed because it was it was deemed unethical or un out of the usual it was odd and it was unique it didn't fit into the identity of royalty so inevitably the group shunned you or someone else your family line out of this energy i'm also getting secret child so a child that was birthed in secrecy or outside of a marriage or outside of some type of connection that had to be kept quiet. Knight of Pentacles. This energy that's tied to wealth and royalty. The Knight of Pentacles for me is someone who's learning to manifest to the physical form, bring their mind and thought into abundance in the physical. 
But it's about to happen because this energy is in reverse. This energy is also facing Capricorn twice. Tenth house. It's being recognized by the public. It's a career directive. It's someone's life purpose or their claim to fame. Even though someone has been dispelled from this money or this royal bloodline, you or this energy is the one who bestows the knowledge of it. Confirmation. <laughs> you hear that, confirmations? Wow. This is deeply connected to some type of father's ancestry. This is also giving me a child from a father's ancestry or father's line. And they're giving me mother twice removed. I'm not sure what that means. So two generations above or this partner of the masculine had two feminine partners. So up to three partners, two partners removed previously before this connection. One more for Knight of Pentacles with Wealth, please, Spirit. Page of Wands. Earth and fire and water out here currently. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's someone in this family line who's younger than this couple who is aware of this disposition. The fire energy speaks to acting upon an idea. As you wonder, so do they. They're giving me seven generations. So this could be from you and seven generations above. Number seven, seventh. Don't know how this is going to be, but it was about keeping a matriarch's bloodline clean. Whether this separation was to keep you cleansed from this negative bloodline and vice versa, they've seen it the other way around. But there's something here where it was about keeping something cleansed. Blood cleansing, bloodline cleansing. What's this banishment here? There was banishment through marriage. Second, third and fourth house. There was banishment and dispossession of actual money, physical money or money hidden from one. There was spendings behind someone's back. There were restrictions, especially tied to this royal energy. I feel like the person who was dispossessed was because they had some type of clear hearing, some type of psychic ability that wasn't accepted in this bloodline, so they were removed, sent away, displaced. Even in this card, it depicts a person being away from a castle. This is someone being sworn out and never to return. They had to agree to not speak about it. What I'm getting with this is that they were removed to a place they weren't familiar of because the, the eyes being blindfolded here. So somewhere that they're in a new environment or they went to a new environment before they had you or this is you, going to a new environment you weren't familiar of, the things you were seeing you didn't recognize. DNA, ancestry testing. One more for exiled, banished. Okay, so it's connecting back into the wealth. See the triangle that's kind of playing out here with the cards? So we do have all signs out here. We've got air signs as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This card's sitting in the 6th, 7th and 8th house. So that is speaking to work and health and fitness, 
something that was done on the daily, repetitive duties, but there was some type of connection through a partnership or relationship that wasn't allowed or that was deemed un, just got unholy. Or someone signed a contract to someone, I'm getting like a marriage or a business tie or a confirmation to keep quiet, not to speak out about inheritance, about secrets. Yeah, defending, protecting on guard, defense. When you find out about this, you're going to defend this through all your might, through all your knowledge. If you don't receive money in the physical, then you are receiving the gifts bestowed upon that bloodline, which you were born to defend. It is your birthright. Let's move over to this energy here. Showing me a different deck. What's this shocking news? Shocking information. They're also giving me spells with, yeah, wow, magician just came out as I said spells. There was some type of magic spells or manipulation coming out in the 12th house. So this is talking about manipulating a psychic or manipulating psychic abilities. Dealing with a Pisces has that place in your chart or you are a Pisces. Don't have to be, but this is talking about the psychic abilities, connection to spirit, past life, reincarnations from past life, uncovering hidden enemies. Someone's being, someone's having to pay for the price of disconnecting, disconnecting this energy from their wealth, from their abundance, from their birthright. This energy was manipulated into restrictions, confinement. They're also giving me this horse is waiting outside for their owner. So this is someone who's connected to the animal world or very empathic. They can, they understand their environment and their environment protects them as well. Oh, wow, the Magician and the Queen of Wands. So there was some heavy spell work here on disconnecting you or your bloodline or your matriarch or someone who's the rightful owner of this wealth, of this inheritance, of this royalty. There was some heavy spell work done here, the Magician and the Queen of Wands. These are things that have been put into place over generations if you don't relate to you being removed in this lifetime. This speaks about this energy saying, yes, we positively dealt with this situation. Yes, they are doing better. Where in fact it was through manipulation of words, manipulation of fire. Fuel to the fire, air to the fuel. Gaslighting with these candles here. There are also threats. They're giving me COVID with this air disaster. Interesting enough, that's not for everyone, but something about the airways. Transmission of disease. Influenza, heavy spell work done to displace this energy. They want me to speak to the spell work more. Okay. The spell work or the magic that was done over this energy was to mo remove them from home, to separate oneself from their heart space. To do that meant that they had to disconnect this energy from all the things that they felt connected to through love and compassion, all the things that provided them healing emotional stability that was disconnected from this energy they also played with vulnerabilities called this person or this energy vulgar animalistic
wild, untamable. In this spell work, they were removed, sent to another place, removed from home, removed from comfort, removed from instances where they acquired their strength, their identity, their connection. What this is also giving me is that while displacing this energy, these people or this person, this bloodline, they still retained their heart space. They still work and speak to their heart space through symbolism, art, dance, connection to location. This person sitting on a mountain, which means they have higher knowledge of magic. But it was other forms of magic that was used against them. The magic that this energy uses is for the inner child. The magic that this energy uses is to manipulate. It's the dark side to keep in power infinitely. They're also giving me theft and stealing of information or messages with this stick here, this wand. They claim that they're the power of knowledge. But this energy has all of the other wands. So this energy only took one wand from this person or generation that was removed. There's fast information coming in, especially through creative legislation or knowledge that's been passed down through generations. Stagnancy, con contemplation, heavy emotions are being removed and being forged towards business ideas or concepts. Thoughts being brought into action into a universal form that helps transform and tra transport others out of imbalancements and into feeling supported by the universe and chasing what it is that they need, that they belong to, that they long for, that they are rightful to. There's justice here over this two-sided energies. Any spiritual warfare placed over this dispossession is being removed through death and rebirth. Whether we're speaking about reincarnations, change of perspectives, inherited. This pentacle is making its way through to this, this person, this rightful owner or this rightful bloodline. What's this imprisonment? Four of Pentacles. This energy was confined and restricted through the ninth house, meaning that they couldn't, they weren't allowed to follow their own beliefs, spiritual or religious. They weren't allowed to pursue their education. They weren't allowed to move internationally. And they weren't allowed to use cultural influence over their philosophy. But this energy is clairvoyant. They have visions of past, present and future. And even though things were stolen in the physical, the spiritual had never been taken from them. The spell work had only been done in the physical form. This energy has been protecting four elements, four aspects on the earthly form. It's ties to home, foundation, root chakra, Security and grounding, survival instincts. This energy survival instincts is stronger than this. This energy's heart chakra is more compassionate than this. This energy's solar plexus 
has more personal power and motivation within oneself compared to a collective group. This energy is regaining confidence to step forward through the throat chakra and speak the truth. Some have spoken the truth and have been forced to prison, literally. Others have protected certain knowledge, bloodlines or families. And others have disowned. What's the Wild West here, spirit? King of Pentacles. Leo and Virgo energy. Finding their way towards becoming leaders in their own right through knowledge, through experience, working that into their daily routines. There's also a lack of loyalty towards this energy because this energy shows more abundance in oneself compared to the money that was taken or the, the home, the castle that was taken. The spell work energy placed over this one is to keep them in stress, to keep them worried, to keep them in survival instincts, into survival mode. But finding, discovering this true energy in oneself means that they're able to move towards their abundance. Nine of swords, nine of pentacles, releasing hexes and curses and spells through understanding dispossession of home and family. Value is found within oneself. To let go of the lies or the things that they've been taught to value because they see their own value within their own journey. This energy has had to deal with a lot of competition, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. This energy has had to be moved around to different home places many times. While this energy sat up comfortable. This was done intentionally. This energy is able to see the joy in life where this one steals to control it. Wow, love and surrendering. Okay, so King of Pentacles to the Wild West. This is what's coming in. Okay, what's the outcome here, spirit? This energy is defending their decisions, defending their wealth, defending the fact that they will do anything, especially to their own blood or to another, to keep themselves in a space of comfort. And others are taking risks towards healing this dispossession through regeneration, rebirth, reincarnation, through nourishing the earth. And giving back to the environment means that the environment bestows good karma back on them by tenfold. Because there was a wish fulfillment to preserve and to protect What is that nourishes them? What keeps them survived? What provides for them? There's been much sadness through this dispossession and displacement. But more experience earned through this life cycle. This energy may be royal, but this energy is loyal. So there's discovery through generations here. Learning loyalty for oneself and loyalty within others of this energy. There's one, two, so six cups. But they gave me seven generations. 
okay? Father to, father to son. Vice versa, it could be mother to daughter, okay? Because we've got the mother here birthing. Six to seven generations. Six and six. Okay. What do we need to know about this spirit? An idea that makes you money while you sleep. So even though you or someone in your family line has been dispossessed from this wealth, abundance, banished from it, karma is being reclaimed through the ideas that you receive that will outdo this status. What you're about to do will get some recognition. So there's something you're working on and it's part of someone's destiny here to undo or to reclaim their rightful ownership through alternative forms. What else? The final report is due, handed over, and the information. Ooh. This is giving me DNA results coming back to someone, discovering. This is also reporting back on those who, who had done wrong or eliminated any type of history facts. We have, I had you once and I will, again, I went, sorry, I had you once and when I find you, I'm not letting go. So this is the discovery of important information that's related to someone or their bloodline. Some of you may be reclaiming to family and others of you may be forming sudden forms of wealth for yourself because you were destined, it was part of your bloodline, it's part of who you are but it won't be part of this energy. It'll be part of something new that you create for yourself and your, your heritage. I love you. So it's been conducted out of love. Put in a ticket. The winner's circle favors your energy. This card keeps coming out. I, there's, I've got 350 options here. Got moving house. So we've got 350 options out of this deck and this card keeps coming up. So someone in the collective is really lucky and for those of you who are feeling lucky, it's someone's going to win the lottery, someone's going to launch a business idea that makes them a lot of money for generations to come, someone's going to reclaim the money that was stolen, someone's going to gain inheritance, someone's going to marry into someone who shares their, their wealth. Someone's going to be blessed by being banished because then their, their blessings may come through, disconnected from this energy. Some are being compensated. Wow. Put in a ticket. The winner's circle favors your energy. keeps coming up this information is shocking but it's also going to bring more love into the situation what our spirit knowledge and wisdom masculine and feminine so being able to balance those two energies within oneself convert condense correlate communicate so you're communicating your findings, your knowledge. This is a test. Read your surroundings. You will decide the right path for you. So wealth and abundance is coming to you through individual actions to reclaim what's rightfully yours. Wow. So someone's living in their best self, okay, and that's the best way to be. Everything 
you need is within reach resources and then a goal you've set is about to be accomplished. Congratulations. One more. All will be provided to you in the right timing. Help others while you accept your abundance. So there's some type of risk you're taking on removing any boundaries that have been set over you. This cycle is repeating itself. Level up and look for the patterns to break free. So breaking free of could be generational cycles. Okay, the answers you seek are right in front of you. So take a step back for clarity. Too close is too confusing. All right. One more and we'll close the reading out. Wow. I can't take my eyes off you. One in a million. So also too, this energy was shunned from this family line or this royalty or this money because this energy was unlike any other. This gives me jealousy. Also so unique that it made this energy outshine this energy and they couldn't have that. So they sent it away, sent you away, sent the energy away, sent your the matriarch of your family away, sent your ownership away, displaced you because you were one in a million. One more. Sorry, I know I keep saying one more. Remove your fear. It's getting in the way. Pluto placement. So look at your Pluto placement in your birth chart or natal chart. Pluto talks about the eighth house because it's ruled by Scorpio. It's talking about removing fears, going through the shadow work and revealing information through the underworld, the occult, the unknown, the other side. Releasing any power struggles, tapping into mediums or being a medium yourself, mediumship. Discovering secrets to uncover inheritance. Understanding the, the forms and the use of magic through life and death, afterlife. These are things that will transform your life, doing your Pluto placement in your chart. So, I can't take my eyes off you. You're one in a million. An idea that makes you money while you sleep. Put in a ticket. The winner's circle favors your energy. Convert, condense, correlate, communicate. Status. What you're about to do will get you some recognition, knowledge, and wisdom. A goal you set is about to be accomplished. Congratulations. And I love you. Thank you so much, beautiful subscribers. Thank you for spending time with me. If you're a newbie and you like my readings, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my readings. And I wish you all, all the greatest abundance that has been displaced from you, whether you find that in your own way or reclaim that it's coming to you in some form or another. So I wish you all the love in the world. I wish you all the abundance and opportunities and until the next reading, beautiful, wonderful souls. Bye for now.